Hello, my name is Alison Atwood. I'm uh, the lead teacher for hearing impaired children in Argyll and Butte. If we start with the referrals for babies, uh, the area audiologist will send me a referral letter about a newly diagnosed baby. So if your baby goes to see the audiologist in whatever clinic it might be, that information is sent to me and I will make an appointment to come and visit you at home as soon as possible. The information will tell me how deaf your wee one is, what kind of hearing aids have been prescribed, and that gives me information. So when I come to the house, I know a little bit of background information. The initial visits are really there to offer you support. I work as a member of a team of uh, speech therapists, audiologists, health visitors at this stage, sometimes social worker for the deaf. And as a team, we like to come and visit you at home to get to know you because the GARFEC plan, which is getting it right for every child, is there to make sure that you're at the centre of your child's development and your child's future. So we like to get to know you very early on uh, and that way we can work together to make sure that hearing aids are in and on all day, every day. Sometimes that can be a challenge, so we're there to support you with that and to help promote language development and listening skills and also to enjoy your baby and to give you the confidence to know that you know where you're going when we're not with you. We use a variety of programmes, uh, it takes two to talk, auditory variable therapy programmes, uh, and we also use sign supported English where necessary or if you're interested as another communication method. And we put all that package together whatever suits your child. Once we've got going with language and listening skills by playing uh, listening games, we, we do listening walks, we might have toys hidden around the house, we start with animal noises. It's all fun, play-based learning. And as your child gets older and uh, comes towards nursery, uh, then I will go into nursery and provide the same information and support and advice to staff in nurseries and also quite crucially I think is provide a lot of information for the children in that nursery environment too. So the aim here is to make sure that we make the nursery as deaf friendly as possible. We look at the layout of the nursery, we look at the teaching and learning that goes on in the nursery, the communication skills, the acoustics of the nursery, we look at sometimes if a child, your child is, is using signing, we would offer to train the staff and the children in nursery in basic signing so that when your child comes in, they've got a communication system that is useful to them. And the whole purpose of that support is to make sure your child has a smooth transition into nursery or it might be a childminder if your child's not at nursery. At this stage, the environment is a, a bit noisier, so I would work quite closely again with the audiologist to see if we can provide extra equipment that might help in that kind of environment. Uh, the, uh, there might be support staff in the nursery, so I would give them specific training about early literacy, early numeracy, to make sure that your child's getting uh, all these experiences in the best possible way for them.